Hey guys, we're out in the shop today thrashing hard on Project Bastard. We are so close to being done with this thing. I'm almost thinking by either the end of today or first thing tomorrow, this thing's going to be on the snow for the first test ride around the yard. I am so excited. I can't wait. Check out the aluminum skis. I got them back from race coatings in Wyoming, Minnesota. They did the ceramic coating on them, then they tumble polished them. They look sweet. Check them out. I love them. And they're so light. I told you how light they were before, and they're just awesome. I put some super big carbides on the bottom to help protect them. Um, no, they're probably not the strongest ski. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any ditch banging on this thing with those skis on there. It's going to be very, very gentle trail riding and crossing of the lakes. That's about all because they're not the strongest ski around. I can already tell that. But, but this thing is just, just insane. It's just coming together. I'm excited. And we're so, God, I just can't wait. We fired it a few times. And, and uh, last night, Mike and I troubleshooted the back tail light. This thing was just fighting us right to the very end to try and get this dang tail light to work. Uh, end up being a ground issue. We tracked it down. We fixed the ground finally. So now I have a rear tail light. Got to get the hood on it yet and get the headlight working and stuff. You know, hopefully that goes well. It's just a matter of plug and play. Working on the EGTs today. Got everything hooked up here. I got the pipes installed for the last time. Just went through the wiring on the EGT gauge to figure out what wire went to went, what, what went to what. Um, I have a couple EGT gauges and several EGTs, and, and uh, I didn't take them out of the sled, so I didn't know what wires were supposed to go where. So it took a little bit of troubleshooting, and I, I figured it out finally. So, but, God, the things are, things are coming together nice. Got the clutches all done. Everything's in. Um, yeah, I mean, the throttles, I mean, it's so close to riding. The brakes are all bled out. That was a nightmare. My God, I, I had more problems with fittings on the brake caliper i broke two of them off oh man it, it was just just sucked i had to take the chain case back out to get the fitting out of the caliper it was just you know that deal deal two steps forward ten steps backwards you know and some things just go that way you know you just got to work through it but trenton's over here he's thrashing away on the rear skid god look at this disaster we got going on in here every flat spot is Full. It's time to fill the toolboxes back up, I can tell you that. But we took this thing completely apart and cleaned up everything. And uh, he's putting the Fox shocks in right now. New slides, new bearings, pretty much new everything is going back into that skid to make it 100% again. But yeah, we, I mean, we got a disaster going on. And we've been, we've been just thrashing on sleds all week in here. I mean, basically it started last weekend. Trenton put a new head gasket in his storm. And the center head gasket blew out him, so he put his head gasket in last, or he replaced all the gaskets, though. Took the motor down, put all new gaskets in. So, that, I mean, that was kind of the start of the thrashing here over the week was Trenton doing his storm. He's got the, the RXL done now, the 94 RXL. That one's complete. Uh, the brake parts finally showed up for that thing. We waited for, like, two weeks for brake pads for that thing. We finally got them. Those are in. The sled's riding. He's ridden around the yard a few times. We'll bring it up north next weekend to see if it'll prove itself, you know, see if it can do some trail riding on it. But, and then uh, we had my storm in here also. Did a bunch of work on my storm. Um, we did uh, chain case seals. We had to take chain case out of it, put new seals, the rear seals. As long as I was doing that, I put new bearings in it too. Um, and then we ended up doing some work to the skid, end up replacing the slides on it. I put new slides on it, but they're completely junk. We, one 150-mile one ride. The slides were just garbage on it, so put new graphite slides on. Um, we clutched it. I did a clutch setup on it. Wall Brothers, Greenbush, Minnesota. Could talk to Dave up there. Told him, hey, uh, my son's 94 storm. I love the way the thing, the way the clutching is. So I called him up. I'm like, my 94, the clutching doesn't work nearly as good as his. So I called Dave up at Wall Brothers, and uh, he recommended some weights, a spring, for the primary and then a new helix and a spring for the secondary and Trenton, uh, Trenton and I got all back together redid all the clutching get all that on there took it for a couple test rides last night oh the thing's an animal god I love the thing yeah the clutching is so much better than it ever was and we put some different bars on it to to get the bars up a little bit uh, you know I'm not all about bar risers and standing on the seat to ride these wedges it's sit down only with me but the handlebars are just a little bit too low, so I put a, a set of um, aftermarket bars on just to bring them up a snitch, and, and it, it rides way better. I took it out a couple times last night, and 
man, my smile wrapped all the way around the back of my head, I can tell you that, because it just rides so much nicer now. I can't wait to put some miles on that thing again this year. But bastard, I mean, that's the primary concern today is, like I said, we're so close to getting this thing on the floor, getting it fired up and, and riding it out of the shop. I mean, i got to get a belt on it. But I didn't want to put a belt on it quite yet because I don't have the skid in and all the test firing I've done, been doing on it, I don't want it to accidentally rotate that track and get it bound up into something. So I've left the belt off of it for right now. But you just see I did some aluminum work down in here, some heat shield work, try and protect that belly pan. They're only plastic, and uh, these pipes really run hot, and they run really close to everything. So I did some aluminum work down in there. What do you think, Trent? Should we fire this thing up? Can't hardly tell everybody this thing actually runs without at least starting the sled up. So perfect timing, the air compressor just kicked in, but we'll let that thing run, no big deal. But why don't you hold the camera, Trent, and I'll give this thing a rip and so everybody can hear. Thing sounds awesome, guys, I can tell you that. in the afternoon, bats like cologne. Oh man, I just love it. I just love the thing. Ah, it sounds so good. Look at all that smoke in the air. Oh. That's the best part about a two-stroke sled is all that smoke. Well, that's about enough of that. Uh, the reason it's so smoky, though, I have, I have mixed gas in the tank, too. I'm running 50 to 1 in my tank, and plus I'm running my oil injection. It's a fresh top end on it. It's fresh rings and stuff, and my whole oil, oiling system had been all taken apart, so there was air and stuff in there and everywhere, and just to be on the cautious side... I mix 50 to 1 in my tank here. I put five gallons of 50 to 1 in it to make sure that my oil level goes down on my, on my premix or on my uh, injection bottle before I go ahead and stop running premix gas. So, but that's why it's smoking so bad. Plus, I've probably started this thing no less than 195 times in here in the last two days working on that dang taillight back there. So, but thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching my videos. I, I mean, it's been just awesome. This has been a great build. Um, we're going to get it on the snow here. Like I said, today or tomorrow, we'll do some more videos of it on the snow. And this ain't, I mean, we're going to do so many videos of this thing yet. And we'll get some videos of up, up north riding this thing in the next week or so, too. So appreciate it, guys. Sub, share my videos, comment. I love the comments. I always respond to the comments. I love I love everybody that comments. I mean, it's, it's great. I feel more personal to people than if they comment on my video and then I comment back to them. I feel like I got more of a connection with people then. So thanks, guys. Thanks for enjoying this series of videos.